Okay, so again, you're going to be doing your reflections on manage back. It doesn't go on the essay, but this is uh, six of your points on your EE. And we're going to have three reflection sessions. Uh, so you're going to have one towards the beginning of the EE process, one kind of after you've completed a full draft of your EE, and then a final reflection when the whole thing is done, your EV is complete, and you're ready to submit it. So the reflections, uh, let's just take a look there. First of all, they're short. Uh, the reflections total cannot be more than 500 boards. So that's three reflections, 500 boards maximum. So you're looking at uh, somewhere around 150 words per reflection. So let's take a look at the student's reflection and kind of point out things that are good about it. So far, I have undertaken preliminary research on my intended focus area, the effect of imperialist rule on legal systems in colonial states, and have thought about possible titles. Despite the research I've undertaken on the internet, I have found it difficult to narrow my focus towards a specific topic. A key change is the lack in any key events, which unfortunately means I have to analyze the effect of imperialist rule on an abstract concept, such as the rule of law. At a research paper I have read, the author had to reduce the effect to a freedom index, which I would not find ideal uh, subject matter for my EE. Thus, I have considered shifting my focus to the link between colonialism and post-colonial states like my own Malaysia. So uh, this is where it's okay to use first person because it is reflection, and you should be using first person because a large part of your grade on this is they want to see uh, what you have done uh, the challenges you have faced, uh, your, your thought process, this kind of stuff. So this person is doing a really good job with that. They're talking about, they, they very clearly address challenges, um, get a little bit into um, why they've chosen this topic. Would have been nice to see maybe them connect a little bit more the fact that the student is from Malaysia extrapolate on that if you're so you can talk about issues personal to you as long as you're not like identifying yourself in any particular way in your ee um right but again this is pretty well focused on what the rubric is asking the student to do right and you'll have your interim reflection and then your viva voce is that is your final reflection again at the end of this and this is kind of a reflection on the whole thing and again, they want to see things like uh, the challenges you face, skills that you developed. Uh, but again, it's it's all about you. Uh, what they do not want to see is uh, Mr. Brennan told me to do this, so I did this. Right? Uh, I'm not going to do that because that's not the, the authentic way to do the EE. And so your reflection also should not have that kind of information in there. The EE is really about you and I am just here to, to help guide and facilitate some things.